Big shout to the ghosts and the ghostess. Last week I did a video talking about Jay Dobbins, his interview, speaking on the infiltration of the Hells Angels MC. And I received the email directly from the source. We're going to keep it anonymous, but it's a message from 81 about this situation with Jay Dobbins. You're not going to want to miss this. And we get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. And no, oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And I was going to leave this topic where it was. I did a video last week talking about Jay Dobbins, the ATF agent that infiltrated the Hells Angels, but I received information that I must share with the community. And some people get upset and they say, why are you giving this rat light and stuff like that? And the reason why you have to talk about these type of situations is because all people do is say, yeah, he was a rat. Yeah, he was an ATF agent. And they just make up a narrative, but they don't understand the situation and why it happened and how to protect clubs now from letting it happen so the only way you don't repeat history is if you actually understand what really happened so we're going to break down this email but the first thing i want you to do like we always do on this channel is to hit me with that pound ghost in and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do or just part of the demons road community one of my ghosts Big shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. Make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification. Hit the like button. Follow our second page, the Sos the Ghost page. That's where we're out riding and talking about the culture live outside, not in a podcast type format. And let's break down this email. I didn't watch the full video, but as someone that was in the trial where they tried to have this Mama Luke testify, I can assure you that he never became a Hells Angel and was never allowed to take the stand in my trial along with others as well. Mainly because he is a proven liar and the defense attorneys proved it to be true to the judges. Many of the charges brought against members and others in the Black Biscuit case were thrown out with prejudice because of his and the ATF's antics. The few convictions that they asserted from Black Biscuit were people with multiple cases that had nothing to do with the Black Biscuit that pled to minor charges, including some Black Biscuit charges and did relatively short time for all their cases. He goes on shows and makes these claims that are never or rarely investigated and they are regurgitated time after time again, leading people to believe they are true. No one seems to care to do any research in his boasts that have been proven to be lies in a courtroom setting. The ATF has such a low opinion of him, they basically fired him and he has to sue them to get his pension. He did become a prospect, but when he was a prospect, he was there for less than a year. In that time around, he was able to ensnare a handful of members with weird entrapment BS, but not one member pled to the Hells Angels as being a RICO organization or was the Hells Angels MC ever convicted or even could have ever been convicted on RICO charges with their shitty multi-million dollar sham of a case. As a prospect, he would never have been in a meeting with any Hells Angels outside of the charter he prospected for. Even with the members of that charter, his meetings with them would be short. To become a Hells Angel, Chris has the prospect for over a year. He did steal Hells Angels property from the raids, an issue we're still working on to this day. So we're not going to say his name, but basically this is someone that's well known in the culture that is an 81 member and he wanted it to go out there and let people know the real deal. We have a big platform, so it's our responsibility if we review something like if I see an interview and it's a lot of nonsense being spewed out and there's facts that need to come out we have to put them out 
he sent me a link that i will link down if you want the info on it and it basically shows he's suing because they didn't protect them there was a lot of lies and this is the stuff that we got to worry about in our culture if a club was really outlaw biker and dangerous and the most vicious and all the stuff that they say about us why whenever they do any type of rico case they have to set it up and it takes years for it to come into fruition but if they was to take that same amount of money funds that they put into you know finding one case on a club that takes some years why not go somewhere where there's real harm being done where in one day you could clean up shop because the crime is being committed in front of you as soon as you, you know you get there why are they not infiltrating that why are they infiltrating mcs that they got to find all this stuff to get one whack case when there's so much more crazy stuff going on in the world and it's the attack on the alphas i've been talking about let me know in the comments what you think about this this had to be aired out listen to the people that complain about giving light this is not giving light this is giving light to the truth and there's no other channels that give the truth all they do is talk about what happened so if i get inside i need to put it out there so big shout to everybody out there if you want to support the role get your demons road t-shirts underneath any video go to www.demonsroad.com get your bandanas stickers all that type of stuff follow our instagram at demons row at sos the ghost underscore follow our second page the sos the ghost page and thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and oh yeah we ghosting baby